Hello everyone, this is Sahid and I'm super glad to be back on the Visa Pro Finals channel. If you're looking to migrate to the what main economy, including the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the European Union, among others, then you're the right channel. I can share with videos, hit the subscribe button, forget to so you can have all our new videos as they've been released. Today we shall be reviewing the cheapest colleges in Canada, where you would be requiring no English proficiency, you would be paying the least of tuitions in Canada. So the colleges that are paying the least tuitions in Canada, as well as all of them have got their DLI and they offer PGWP, which is the post-graduation work permit. So the first institution we'll be looking at today is the Aurora College. It's located in the Northern Territory of Canada. So you would have to review the eligibility requirement for this institution and gather the required document that you would need. So, so you can see all the required documents that you would need here. We've got various scholarships, bursaries and awards that you can actually leverage yeah. on to reduce the amount that you will be spending on studies. So this is also available to international students. So you can check them all out here, all varying by department. So you can see depending on what department. And you can look at the academic programs they've got in the institution. So have a review of those to know what college program you can run right here. I check them all out on this page. When it comes to the tuition, which is the when it comes to tuition for international students, so it says here yeah, that uh, so you got fifty four hundred per term, with certain exceptions. So you would see that some programs such as the Environment and Natural Resources Technology Diploma, which has got a seventy two hundred full term of its first year, and you know varies a little bit from the other programs that they got in the institution. So the next institution is the New Brunswick Community College. And they got an array of programs available in their institution. So you can check out those, uh, which actually vary by campus. So they got various campuses and various programs within various campuses. So you can just check all of those how to know what program you can run there. So you can see the location for some of the post-grad programs you've got. And you can make a choice on which one you want to do there. In terms of how to apply, so you can check out the details of that right here. And your English requirements, so those details, so uh, the details are kind of highlighted over there. So you can see the how to apply. When it comes to the how to apply, you can see the international applicants and go to how to apply for that. So all of the international applicants so can expect to receive updates regarding your application status within 14 to 16 weeks from the date of application. So something you should keep in mind before you go ahead to apply. And the English language requirements, so you can see that here if you uh, first language, so if your first language is English, then you wouldn't require an English proficiency. So, and that's by minimum of three years secondary education that has been successfully compared in English within the last two years. Or if the applicant's first language is English, as the case may be. So. And you can see all of the other alternatives if you do not meet that English requirements. And um, when it comes to the important dates and timelines for international students, so you'll be looking to expect an update within 10 to 12 weeks of the date of your application. So, and that is something you should keep in mind. These are all the academic intakes and when they open and when the evaluation begins. So. You can check this out to make your plans. And in terms of the tuition, you can international students at the NBCC would be paying of 4,787 each term, and that is what would be for that would be the tuition for international students 
each time tutorial 9575 so over to the Holland College in Prince Edward Island and for this institution so it is located in Chalotan so which is in Prince Edward Island of Canada when it comes to the tuition for international students you would realize the international fees it's of so it is 5100 for first year students and uh, 5000 for second year students and you can see all of the fees that apply like the health insurance which is 750 for all international students and you would have to make a tuition deposit of a thousand Canadian dollars. So these are the different programs they've got in this college or you can check them out. And when it comes to the programs, so you can use this page as well to just find what program is suitable for you. Then you can go ahead and make your application right here and review all the English requirements. So finally, we'll be looking at the Maritime College of Forest Technology. Uh, for these guys, so the applicants whose native language is not English would require an English proficiency. So meanwhile, if you studied at an English language institution for at least three years at secondary level or you studied at an English language institution for at least one year post-secondary, okay for the English proficiency. We don't have to bother about that. So you can check out the programs they've got on this page. So you can see program overview. And when you're ready to apply, then you can hit ready. So we'll go ahead and apply. So that brings us to the end of the review of the cheapest colleges in Canada that you can come across at this uh, point in time, you know, you can review everything and see all the advantages and see. So you can go for it right and, you know, an average 17, 20,000 institutions. So I think you will probably want to go for this one. So thank you very much for being there always. So don't forget to like and share our videos and uh, subscribe to this channel. And also don't forget to hit the all important notification so you can have all our new videos come straight to your gadget. So thank you very much and see you some other time. Thank you and bye-bye.